Hi, and welcome to this full body bar routine. Equipment that you will need for today's routine is a sturdy chair to serve as our bar, a mantle or countertop will work as well, and a light pair of hand weights. I'll be using three pounds. Always start lighter. It's a quick arm segment. Water bottles or soup cans will work as well. We'll begin with our warm up, followed by our legs, a um, little bit of abdominal, thigh work, calf work arm section, then we will finish on the mat with abdominals, a lot of core work, and finish with our stretching. You will feel great. If you've never done bar before, do not be intimidated. No dance experience required. My style does tend to have a little bit more of a ballet base to it. Just follow along. Starting with our warm up. Feet are directly underneath those hips. We always check our posture. Tuck the tailbone, tighten the core, and roll those shoulders down and back. Big inhale, arms come up, and exhale down, again. One more, leave those arms up there, stretch them to the ceiling, and then lean to the side. Come back up, and lean other side, and come back up. Let's do that again. Lean to the side, this time as we lift, I want you to come up onto the tippy toes, and lower. Lean, stretch up, lift, and lower. Grow taller with each one. One more each side. Lift, lower the hands in front. And then we're going to twist to the side with a little knee bend. And then same thing, we come up and down. Twist side center up and down belly button is pulled in here so we're using that core activating those muscles instead of the lower back lift and lower a little swoop side one more each side lift and lower. One arm reaches forward, one arm reaches back. We're gonna bring the knee up, reach up and lower. Knee up, back, up and lower. Big stretch. Just alternating legs, knee up, stretch back, lift and lower. So we're coming to a little mini lunge here, stretching that leg back. Balance challenge with that knee. Lift. Lift. Few more. Big stretch. One more on each side. Lift. Excellent. Come to our first position, which is just heels together, toes apart, hands on the hips. Again, little tuck in that tailbone. Little plie here. Come up, squeeze the glutes and the thighs together. Lift up into a releve. Down, stretch, lift, and lower. Warming up those legs. Nice and slow. The turnout doesn't just come from the feet or the knees, I want you to think about turning out those hips. Tuck the tailbone. All right, let's do, pick up the pace a little quicker. Down, lift, up and down. Plie, lift. Should be getting nice and warm now for three, two, last one. Shake it out. Same thing in a second position. So our toes are still turned out to the corners, but our heels are much wider apart. Big plie down, press the knees out to the side, lift on the toes. Down and lift. Lower and lift. You won't be able to get as high onto those toes in our wider second position here. That's normal. As we plie down, think about tucking that tailbone. So it's not a squat. We're not sticking our butt back. And lift. All right, a few more. Let's pick up the pace. Lower, lift. Squeeze your glutes the whole time. 
It's a great one for the inner thighs. We have a lot of inner thigh work today. Three, two, last one. Stay in this position. Arms come up. We're going to reach down, plie and again. Reach for a hand towards the opposite ankle and then come up. We reach down and left. This time the butt can come towards the back of the room and you just reach down as far as you can. Down and lift. Use that core to lift the torso. You can make it flowy and pretty. This is our last move in our warm up. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Time to grab your chair or base of support. Starting with our first position plies, heels together, toes apart. Again, work on that turnout. Keep the pelvis tucked, core engaged. Starting with a simple plie, drive those heels into the ground, lift and stretch, squeezing everything together. Down, lift. Shoulders down and back. Always being mindful of our posture. We've got three, two. This last one, I want you to hold low. Now pop the heels and lower. Ooh, if you're already getting a little shake, that's good. Activating those muscles, lift and lower. Try not to lean forward, shoulders back for three, two. Hold that releve, lift and lower. Heels stay high, up and down. For four, three, two, last one. Drop the heels, come up and squeeze, shake it out. You'll be happy to, and we only have one set of those. However, you're going to repeat it in second position. So take the legs a little bit wider. Again, toes to the corner, starting with our simple plies. Tuck the hips, knees go out to the side, up and press. Down, squeeze. So as we bend, think about pushing those knees to the back of the room. Four, three, two. We hold it low here, pop the heels. We go down and left down and left shake it out anytime you need to just four more three two last one we hold up now squeeze everything up heel stay lifted down and up almost there six more like this drop the hips and squeeze three two and one, lift and squeeze. Let's hold, hold, hold. Maybe a little balance. Hold for four, three, two, and plie, shake that out. Okay, going into our next series, just focusing, starting on the right leg. Again, in a first position, we're gonna point that toe in a turned out position. We're gonna lift that leg flex, point, lower, and bring it back in. So it's got several different counts here. So point forward, we lift, flex, point, lower, bring it in. Again, we're turned out here from the hip. So think about your ankle reaching towards the top of the ceiling or the inside of your heel. Flex, point, down, and in point lift leg doesn't have to lift that high use that inner thigh lift flex point down and lower two more point lift flex point lower and in last one flex point down 
and back in. Again, shake it out. That was the first move in this series, staying on this same leg. We're going to brush the foot up, pointed position with an attitude. So again, the leg is turned out. This time, knee is bent. Using that inner thigh, we cross it as much as you can over the body, keeping your hips square. We lift and then point to the corner. So not like this, but turned out again from the hip. That's the challenge. We lift, cross, lift, point to the side, lift, cross, lift, point to the side. Using the lower abs here as well. You're going to feel it in those hip flexors a bit as well. Lift, cross, lift, and point. Knees bent, knees straight, knee bent, knee straight. Two more. Lift, cross. Last one. Come back to center. Shake it out. Back in our first position. What we're going to do is we're going to plie as that right leg comes forward and then we straighten it as it comes around to the back. So it's a little half semicircle with your right leg. We brush forward, around, come back, plie, around, point. Big circle, plie, and straighten, down and up. Down, let's do two more like this, plie, stretch, plie, and stretch, reversing the direction. This time the leg goes back first with our plie in the standing leg and come back up. Down and around, down and around. So you should be feeling both sides of our glutes. Plie and around, plie and around for four, three, two, one around last move on this side in our first position arm comes out to the side it's a great one for our core we bend we reach in towards the other arm and then come back up so kind of quicker forward and open forward and open twist at that waistline we've got six And four, open, three. Are you still bending your legs? Last one, and lower down. Same thing, other side. So move your base of support if you need to. Starting in our first position, your hand can be relaxed at your side or at your hip. We point the left leg forward, lift it up, turned out position, flex, point, Lower and in. Point. Lift. Flex. Point and in. Forward. Lift. Flex. Point. Down and in. As we're doing this again, check your posture. Nice, strong, standing, supporting leg here. So your glute should be nice and tight. Point and in. Forward, lift, flex. So when you flex, think about your toes going towards the side, not towards the ceiling. You got it. Flex, point, down, last one. Forward, lift, and in. Turned out position, we do our front attitudes. Knee brushes up in a bent position. Hips are square, crossing over the midline. We lift and then point to the side. Again, hips turned out. Lift, lift and cross, lift. Lift and cross. Your knee doesn't have to come up too high. Just making sure you keep that turnout position. Three, and two. Last one. And lower, shake it out. Next, we have our semi-circles. 
Leg comes forward, bending the supporting leg. Leg comes around as we straighten. We go down and around. Bend, straighten, down, around. Squeeze. Four, three, two, shoulders down and back. Now let's reverse it. We bend, leg comes back forward as we straighten back and around back and around you're breathing your core is engaged your legs are on fire you got this four three two last one around shake it out back to that first position Arm out to the side, we plie as we stretch in and out, in and out. Use that core. Don't forget to bend the legs. A little quicker. Let's go five, four, three, two, last one. Lower down, beautiful work. Shake it out. We're gonna go back to our right side. Starting this time in a parallel position, I'm gonna to turn to the side. You guys still continue facing me. So both toes are facing forward. Check the posture, shoulders down and back. Engage that core. We're gonna lift the foot to about the ankle height or calf height. And then we're simply gonna stretch it back. So I want you to engage that glute, elongate the leg on the floor. And instead of being hinged over, like a lot of times we are, I want you to stay straight up. So in, press it out. In and out. Knee in. In, extend. In, extend. We've got four, three, two. Last one, hold it there. Teeny slight hinge forward this time, double leg lift. So we go lift, little pulse. We've got a coupe, we turn the leg out to the side and then we stretch, pointing that toe to the back again. So lift, another lift, bend the knee, touch and straighten. A little faster, lift, lift, bend and straight. Lift, lift, bend and straight, lift. Legs not coming as high as normal. Again, because we are in an upright position. Only go as high as that leg will allow. I don't want you to feel it in the lower back. If you're feeling it in the lower back, then don't lift the leg as high. Last one. And stretch. Let's lift that leg one more time. Slight hinge forward again this time. Circle that leg ever so slightly in one direction. Little baby circles. Around and around for four, three, two. Let's reverse it. Keep it high. Little baby circle. It's such a small, isolated movement. I know it's challenging. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. We do all that on the other side, and then we move on to our arm work. Okay, starting with our parallel position, nice and tall. A little passe here, knee is in front, forward, and we stretch it back. Little bend in that standing leg, protecting the knee. In, press it out. When you press that leg out, think about making it longer. Squeeze the tush. Straighten the knee. Four, three, two. Hold it back. Core is engaged. Double lift. We go lift, lift. Turn the leg out. Press it back. Lift, lift. Bend both knees and straighten. Lift, lift. Down and strengthen. Lift, lift, down, lift, melt, point, lift, 
bend and straighten. Squeeze the tush behind you. Lift. Leg is still turned out. Knee to the side. We're almost there. Down. Stay with me. Last one. And straighten. We lift the leg, hinging forward. Little baby circles. Here we go. Pick your direction. Like we're drawing the circle the size of a tennis ball with our big toe. Three, two, and one. Let's reverse. Little baby circles. Almost there for four, three, two, and one. Put it down, shake it out. Let's do a quick stretch. Stepping way back, hands on the chair. Shift your hips back, feeling beautiful stretch in the back of your legs. And the chest and the lower back. And then pop one heel with the other one on the ground. You can shift your hips a little bit if that feels good. A few more like this. Both feet on the ground. Bend the knees, tuck the tailbone, let's roll it up. Take a step into your chair, quick calf stretch. Leg comes back, lunge forward, bending the front knee, straighten the back. And step forward, back with the other leg. Little lunge, try to press that heel towards the floor. And come up. Let's grab your hand weights and do our upper body. You don't need your chair anymore, so you can get that out of the way. Okay, with our light set of hand weights, feet underneath those hips, we're gonna relax our right arm down at our side. Our left arm is gonna lift out to the side, and we're gonna wrap it around our head, back down, around, and to the side. So try to keep everything else nice and still. These are called halos, so we're drawing a circle around our head around and out around let's go four three extend the arm two release it down other side lift the arm to the side forward around and out big circle little bend in your Standing knees here. Try to make this movement as big as you can. Working all sides of that shoulder, triceps and biceps. We've got three, two, and release it down. Let's come to a wide second position, toes to the corners. Try to keep your weight in your heels. And again, little tuck in that pelvis. Palms are facing you. And we're simply going to flip into like a little reverse bicep here into a W position. And we bring them out to a V and then back in. So palms forward, flip palm towards you, out and in. Option here when we take those arms out to do a nice big second position plie. That's optional, if you still have some life left in those legs. If you're taking that plie, weight is in the heels, knees are out to the side, and tailbone is tucked. Down, flip, out, and in. Palms in. Relax the shoulders, press them down as the arms come out. And breathe. We've got two more like this. Last one. Keep the arms in here. We're gonna do little lunges to the side. Again, keep the weight mostly in those heels. No lunge if it's painful for your knees, but as we lunge, just take the arms down, bicep curl up. 
palms are facing up and arms are to the side this time. We're working a different side of that bicep muscle. Again, your little side lunge is either shallow or you can make it a little deeper by just bending that knee more. Keep it up. Relax head, neck and shoulders. We only have one more move for the arms. Let's go four, three, two, last one. Let's toe heel in and I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. We are gonna be hinged over, feet parallel. So hips are coming back, core is engaged, nice straight spine. Palms are down as the weights come in front, just about eye level. We swoop them back, squeeze them back behind our back. Maybe you can even touch the ends of the weights together. So we go forward, circle the arms around, back and forward and back. Your gaze is just a few feet in front of your toes. We come forward and back. Shoulders are pressed down and back. Don't let them help. Forward and back. Try to keep those elbows high the whole time. We've got four and three and two. Last one. Stretch it back for a little finisher. Extend those arms, straighten the elbows, little pumps up here. Lengthen the arms. Hold it here for four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We are done with our weights. We're going to put those down, grab some water, grab your mat, and meet me on the floor. Okay, on our mat, let's come to a seated position with our knees bent, holding onto our shins. Tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, and let's roll down nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Hands are relaxed at our sides and then extend your feet all the way on the ground. Bring your hands all the way behind, supporting your head, neck, and shoulders. Press your tailbone into the ground by thinking of doing a little pelvic tuck. We're gonna curl up and hold this curl here, draw the belly button into the spine, bring your knee in, and then press it out. Knee in. Press out. Relax your head into your hands so there's no pressure in that neck. If you can't stay curled up, that's fine to relax the shoulders on the floor. Let's go four, three, keep the elbows wide, two, last one, extend, lower down and take a little break. Before we do the other side, let's go ahead and reset. So a little pelvic tuck, pressing that lower back into the floor. Inhale, exhale, lift up the head, neck and shoulders, belly button in, other leg, knee in, press it out, in and out. And exhale, inhale as you extend. Let's go three two, one, relax it down, take a little break. We're gonna do that one more time, just eight more counts and we're gonna alternate sides. All right, tuck the tailbone, lower back into the floor. We curl up, belly button in, here we go. Knee in, relax it down. Elbows stay wide. And just four. Three, two, one. Relax it down. Let that back come up naturally. And then we're going to come to position up here where elbows are supporting us. Make sure that we don't slouch down into our shoulders. Nice, proud chest here. And then let's leave one arm, the back arm, on the floor. We're going to lift up 
the back knee and one arm comes up we crunch and extend I want you to push into that elbow that's on the floor a little crunch and extend option is to bend your other knee supporting that'll make yourself a little bit more stable if you're having any lower back pain I also recommend bending your knee we've got three two one relax down take a little break shake it out and let's do the other side so into our elbow here nice proud chest other hand comes supporting the back of our head we lift crunch elbow to knee and extend out crunch and extend exhale and inhale just four more three two and one really felt that one go ahead and roll back down nice and gentle bend both knees and then cross one ankle above the knee just like a figure four stretch hands are down on the floor and again tuck that pelvis pressing the lower back into the floor we're going to do a little reverse crunch here just lifting our hips off the floor so pick up that bottom knee curl it in and relax you don't have to tap your toe back down on the floor you can use your hands a little bit to press against the floor as well think about stretching the arms long using those lower abdominals to really crunch in just for three two and last one hold this position here we're gonna stretch take this opportunity hands come behind that leg maybe use the other elbow to push the knee further out to the side flex that top foot let's hug it in nice and close maybe roll side to side a little bit if that feels good to you that stretch feels good after all that leg and glute work and relax it down let's switch other side ankle crossing above the knee hands flat on the floor last move then we get to stretch everything here we go pull it in and down a little lower back massage using those lower abdominals to pull those knees closer to you final four three two and one so good release that grip let's take it behind the thigh and gently again hug that knee in flexing the top foot and maybe a little side to side rock with those hips nice deep breaths allowing those muscles to relax let's release the leg and release the other leg as well extend the legs all the way out and then arms come above the head big stretch here inhale and exhale one more inhale exhale let's draw one knee in hug it nice and close either on your shin or again underneath your thigh and keeping that grip I just want you to drop that knee out to the side doesn't matter how far it goes just for a nice inner thigh stretch here hold it there big inhale and exhale let's go ahead and take the knee now and cross it over the midline allowing the hip to roll off the floor arms come to a T palms down oh that feels beautiful in the spine hold it here inhale exhale take one more breath on your own 
Flatten that tailbone back on the floor and let's switch legs. Draw on the other knee in. Pull it nice and close. And then we're going to take and open it out to the side. Give them a little inner thigh stretch. Try to keep your hip bones or that tailbone, you know, square on the floor. And then let's take it across the body, allowing that hip to come off the floor, arms to a T, and relax. A couple nice deep breaths here. Just melting into your mat. Let's roll back to center. Lengthen both legs, arms at our sides, and just point those toes, and then flex. Point and flex. Really pull those toes towards you. Point and flex. One more point and flex. And then walk the feet back in close to your bum. Heels are nice and close. Press that lower back into the floor. Relax the arms at the sides. Lift the tailbone, one glute bridge here, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulder blades stay on the floor. It's a great stretch for our quads and our hip flexors. Hold here, big inhale. Exhale, roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Let's take the arms out to the sides. And we're gonna stretch our shoulders just like we do when we're standing. So cross one arm over the other. Give yourself a big hug. If you can reach, you can even kind of grab onto your shoulder blades and then drop your shoulders down. Really press them down to get a good stretch there. Hold here, big inhale. Exhale. Release the arms back out to the sides. This time, cross the other arm on top. And again, reach back, give yourself a big hug and then press the shoulders down and back breaths. Release that hold. Extend the arms overhead again, palms towards the ceiling. Press the lower back into the floor and we're going to cactus our arms down. The goal here is we're going to bend our elbows, sliding keeping as much surface area on the top of the arms and hands that we can. We come down, feel that stretch, really think about pushing those arms into the floor and then come back up. Again, inhale, exhale, press the lower back into the floor, slide those arms down, bend elbows. A little tuck in that chin. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, tuck the hips. This is wonderful for our posture, allowing the chest to open up. Try it again, press the shoulders back into the mat. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Come down, nice work. Let's roll over onto our side. Press ourselves up into a seated position. We're gonna start with one leg folded in and one leg extended out at an angle. Stack that spine sitting up as tall as you can. We inhale, arm comes up, and let's exhale over to the side. Try to go straight to the side. Hold that stretch here. And then staying here, all we're gonna do is open up this top arm, gently pull it back for a beautiful back and shoulder stretch even into the chest and then up all the way over this time turn our chest let's lower our chest down towards our knee walking our hands towards our feet pull that stretch nice deep breaths turn the torso back towards me extend the arm to the side one more time and then up and down other side, let's switch our legs. 
Arm comes up. And then all the way to the side. Maybe even gazing underneath. All right, hold it here and then extend that arm, reaching back, palm towards me, opening up that shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Up and over, chest comes towards the knee, walk the hands towards that butt. Just as far as you can comfortably go. A couple deep breaths here. Arm stretches back out to the side and then all the way up and over. Let's do a quick butterfly stretch, soles of the feet together, sit up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, slight hinge over. Last thing for our inner thighs. Definitely got a workout today. Come up to a comfortably seated position, whatever that means for you, big inhale. And exhale down. One more time, big inhale, arms up. And exhale down. Congratulate yourself on a job well done. That was a tough workout. I'm proud of you. Thanks for working out with me. Let, you know, let me know in the comments how you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. And of course, share with your friends. That really helps grow the business. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.